So the first thing that, that we want to do is we need to include our files that we're, we're going to need. So the first file that we need is the one that we just sort of, we just put in here. So we're going to do uh, require once and we're going to do dir and we're going to reference our includes file and we're going to include our form builder class. like this. Now, a couple things here. First off, when writing WordPress code, it's sort of the WordPress, WordPress has its own coding standards. And one of the things you do is whenever you have parentheses, uh, after, we're, after that opening parentheses, you have a space and before the closing parentheses, you have a space. So you'll sort of see that done quite a bit as I go through this. That's just a WordPress standard. I try to follow it as best I can. Um, so just keep that in mind as we're doing this. Also, some of you have may seen the the use of dir name that that PHP function and then the file constant, uh, and, and that will help you get the name the the path to the current directory. But as of I think it's PHP 5.3, you can just use dir like this. It basically does the same thing. So it's a little bit uh, of a shortcut shortcut there. All right, so that's going to include our main uh, form builder class that we need. Now we need to write our main plugin class, and we're going to sort of build the shell first, and then we are going to uh, fill that out as we go through the rest of the course. So there are uh, a few uh, methods that we're going to need in, that we're going to use in, in, in doing this, and so we'll sort of lay that out first. So we're going to create our class of class doesn't exist and with WordPress this is pretty important that you do this because this plugin could be installed on a WordPress install that has a bunch of other plugins and so you need to make sure that you avoid any any naming conflicts so you just want to check to make sure that the class doesn't exist and of course you prefix it to to and to make sure that you know it doesn't the uh, that that name's not going to exist there's uh, a lot lower likelihood that someone's going to use the prefix JMO uh, on their plugin class. So I'm probably safe there, but you still always want to check so that it doesn't trigger a fatal error. The worst thing you can have happen is someone installs your plugin, they go to activate it, and it triggers a fatal error because you have a naming conflict. And a lot of times people will just uninstall your plugin and be done. Whereas if they install it, they activate it, and there was a naming conflict, but you use this check here, your plugin will still, your plugin will still activate, but it just, no, nothing will show up, which is better than triggering a fatal error. And then they'll probably be like, okay, nothing's showing up, and then contact you, and you can figure it out from there. So again, that's why we want to, we want to do this. So now we're going to actually create our class. We're going to, again, call it JMO Forms. And Again, like I said, we're just going to lay out some the the main functions to start off with. So we're going to have a constructor, and our constructor is where we're going to do basically most of the loading for our plugin. We'll talk about that short codes and our our all of our hooks. We'll talk through hooks just here in a second. We're also going to be using uh, we're going to have some CSS on the front end of this. So we will we need a, a function to in in queue all of our styles properly we'll talk about that when we get to it so that's what this method is we also need one to actually build our form and this is going to be the one that handles our short code and so we need to pass in this ats parameter here and we'll talk about that when we get to that and finally we're going to have a form handler when the form is submitted then we need to handle the data and store it properly and so forth. So we'll call this form handler. And of course, again, we'll talk about that when we get to that. So those are our four main methods. And then, of course, we need to, once we're all done, stnc an instance of this class. Okay, so that's that's our main plugin class. These are the four methods that we're gonna we're gonna work with. Now, there's gonna be a couple of these are gonna have 
quite a bit to them. Uh, some will be a little bit shorter and so forth, but we'll walk through that uh, as we go here. And then we're going to, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do the, the front end sort of display of the form first, and then we'll talk about and get to how we're going to do the admin part of that. And uh, we'll sort of walk through all of that as we go here. So the first thing that I, that I want to do here.